Okay, we got our masks on. There you go, Barb. There we go. Salt and peppers, love that. I'm actually very anxious to go find some salt and peppers that I know exist and right around here. They're right over here because they're $2 each. Look at all of them. I was so anxious to come here. $2 each, are these all $2 each? I think they are. Okay, so this is fantastic. I'm gonna get the squirrels, I'm gonna get the strawberries. And now these are kind of a little bit tough. The paint's worn away on those. Bahamas, maybe not that one. The peppers, I think I won't get the peppers. What about down here? There's some strawberries down there, the corn. Get the corn. Get the corn. And I'll get, these are pretty good. Salt and peppy, salt and pepper. The paint's a little worn, but not terrible. Oh, I gotta get the, the plastic, what do you call that? The plastic, what do you call that animal, Barb? I forgot. Oh, wait, didn't you, we just saw the same thing? We somewhere did, else? somewhere else, but it wasn't on Is film. Is it a um, camel? It's a camel. I cannot think for the life of me. So I'm going to get the squirrels, the corn, the camel, the strawberries. Okay. We're on, we're off to the races here. Oh, the cats. I'm going to get the cats. Oh, I'm going to get the elephants or whatever those are. I'm so excited. Oh, and the strawberries up there. Wow. I'm so glad I finally got to come back here because I knew they had some pretty good ones. And here's some made in Japan old ones. Yeah, I'm going to get quite a few of these. Oh, look at the coasters. Oh, but those are $10. Stay away. Got to get just the $2 salt and peppers. Okay. There's some pretty pictures in here. Yes, I like the windmill one. Oh, look at this table, though. And oh, these yeah. chairs. Ah, that's cool. $50. That's not bad, really. Mm-mm, not terrible. It kind of, I mean, it's not in the best shape, but... It's not painting. Which one? The... I was trying to see the date on it. That's a pretty one with the windmill. 1990... 1923? That's what I think it says, yeah. Yeah, it does. I like that, but... That's a lot. Yeah, 100. Mm -hmm. Well, it says Whitney. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to look over here. They've got some cool thermoses, $8. These you can put on the bottom of your aluminum cups. They're kind of rattly, the rat ratty, not rattly. They're kind of older. Here's some of these fun creamers, promotional creamers. They came in four different colors. Gay rainbow. That's what they called the gay rainbow creamers. Well, I don't see much in this booth that I gotta have. Kind of too new for what I'm looking for. It's pretty blue, right? Yeah. Look at all these grills. Wow. Wow. Isn't this pretty? It's one of these tinsel art pieces. It's made with foil and they color it. Um, it's of this lady and she's getting her birds or whatever. Uh, it's $15. It's a foil piece, like I said. And um, it's cool. I have one at home that's very similar in size, but I'm not a huge fan of like figural pieces. I like landscapes and birds and animals more than, than people. <laughs> um, and actually, this one is, if you can see on the top left here, it's sort of 
the paint has kind of come off of it. It's a reverse painted piece, so the black is actually painted on the back side of this glass, and then the foil is behind that, and there is some paint, like some of this paint has, is, is also on the back of the, the picture, too. But yeah, it's, it's pretty stuff. So Barb and I, we're looking at paintings apparently now. <laughs> So this one has a hole in it. That is too bad because that's no. like the size I need to kind of finish my thing. That could be repaired. Well, we're not getting into, the, into any more painting oh. repairs right now. I don't How much think. is it? Oh, it's sixty dollars as is. I mean, that's not terrible. I feel like if you got some cardboard and some glue and you stuck it on the back, <laughs> you could, it's not the right way to do it. I know, but yeah. it's pretty. And then up here, I like the ocean one. The ocean one is pretty. And I like the one next to it, but I can't tell without getting it down, like how how old it really is. Well, it could be a tricky one that's like from the 70s, or it could be old. That frame looks pretty darn old to me. I the think so. gilding on it. That's what my instinct was, but. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking around the teens or the early 20s. And there's no chance of seeing the price on that one, so. It, you it maybe, down. you. Oh. I actually like this one here too, but it's not a painting. We Barb and I looked at it earlier. Well, it's, there's more. We've I just like the way that it so. kind of looks. It's very simple looking. Here's more down, on, down along the way. We've got mallards. Now that's a pretty, wait what a minute. Is that one what up? is it? Is that like a... That's what it would look like if I tried to paint a mountain. Yeah. Um, no, it's not quite going to make that one. The one but under it I like. That's more of a, a litho, I think, though. Yeah, it is. See, it's like a, a gar cottage garden or something. I'm not totally against something like that, but it's got... Oh, look at the blue jay. That's pretty. You're a pretty birdie. Blue jay. That's a painting. Maybe you need a blue jay. I don't though. You got those. What is that? Like an under the sea with a face? Where? Oh, this. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> under the sea with a face. Huh. Oh, there's like a sea. No, that's a print. No, this one is similar to your, um, some of the ones you've liked before. It is, yeah. Portugal, 1948. Okay, and then over here, that's like a Thomas Kincaid looking thing. This is pretty, $10. That's kind of sweet for $10, it's an oil painting. Yeah. The frame is not that great, but I have another one that would go fit in with that, but that I don't like. I was thinking about selling it actually. Here's a pretty Epern. Oh yeah. For ten dollars. What? That's not much. Lily, it says. Lily three candle holder. Lily metal three candle stick. Is that pewter? No, it's not pewter. What would that be? Copyright. 1991. That's not that old. That's sad. That's sad. You're sad. You're, you're sad. Oh, little there? swans are hugging each other. <laughs> That's mm, do not polish. Made in India. Do not polish. I've got a golf picture. I've got this says the Garden of Happiness. $85. It is really pretty, is and I like painting? the frame. No, I think it's a litho. Oh. That's a print. I wonder if she would do That's half. That's a nice frame. I know, maybe it's half price any painting. <laughs> <laughs> That's being, oh, let's see. I mean, it's, it's, I know it's been here for a long time. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure. Okay, we just walked into another antique mall and we we're looking at paintings what's that one 65 okay this one's made by Turner which is the same company as my flamingo print but it's beautiful because the look how white that is the it's one in I, good shape yeah the one I have at home is kind of creamy like beige looking at this point how much is it um this frame is nice too I like it mm -hmm. 105 that's not that bad not really if you like that kind of a bird. Right. I'm a flamingo person myself. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Pyrex. This is a nice booth. They had a wall pocket in here a while ago. I guess they sold it finally. Yeah. It was ivy leaves. 
over there. Those are kind of pretty painted milk glass things in there. Oh, they are pretty. Chalkware. Candy cupboard? It's in a chocolates box. <laughs> oh. Not the correct box. $8. It is $8. For some peaches, I think. Or apricots. Well, I'm usually not a big goofus glass fan, but the coloring on this is really well done. Sometimes you find them where there's hardly any paint left. So goofus glass is pretty interesting because it's pressed glass and then you can see the red and the gold and then we'll turn it over. You can see they painted it on the other side. It's fired on. But it's early 1900 stuff. And they would like six dollars for that goofus glass. And then there's another plate down there and a saucer too. Here's some frozen Charlottes, ten dollars. Those are pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait a minute. There's some salt and peppers in there that look like they're pretty decent prices. Yeah. Well, this booth is 40% off. Ooh, they've got some fun things over here. Jadeite kitchen bowl. That's not really jadeite, but nice try. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's very close. Oh, that's pretty. The yellow butter. Plastic. That's pretty. It would be, um, well, it's eight dollars, so that would be forty percent off of. Oh no, not fifty. Um, so like a five, more <laughs> like five bucks. Very nice. I've got some other things over here. Here's some salt and peppers. Got to buy the salt and peppers if I find the good ones. They don't know about any of these. Here's a little squirrel. A little squirrel. Six dollars. Hmm. Boop. I got a picture almost very similar to that at the yard sale. It's nice. I couldn't see the, I couldn't read the bottom on mine. Hmm. Something, I wonder if that is, that's very similar. I think they want maybe more than it's worth. I mean, it's in rough shape and they wanted 71. Now they want 42, but they say 1889. So they say Loonville or something. Maybe I'll take a picture of that tag and I can compare it and see if I can find my exact one. Barb, look up there. Where, what? There's those kitchen things. Above the boudoir, above this. Oh, the little tin, yeah. Yeah, you were looking at those on the other place. That's right. Maybe they'll be a good price here. Maybe they're on sale. Maybe. Okay, so we've got some chalkware here, which I love. I'm a big chalkware fan. We've got the apple. I just sold an orange or a uh, strawberry. This is three fifty. I'm gonna get that one. This will sell for about eight dollars. And then we've got this one here. It's a pear. It is nineteen. It's nineteen seventy-five Miller Studio. And this that one here is three fifty. What? Oh, there's something. Are you going to sell them separate? Um, I might sell them together. They look good together. And then I've got the orange. Oh, I like that orange. Isn't it beautiful? Something about it. It's two dollars. What a deal. So what I'm is that thing that it was in? It was like a sugar and a creamer. Well, that's interesting, isn't that it? Mark? Twelve dollars. Oh, it's a made a, by somebody. Somebody did it, yeah. So, oh, that's a Four dollars for this cat. Cute Japan cat. I've never seen one like that. I was just gonna say it looks familiar. Oh really? <laughs> but I don't know why. It's I haven't seen one just like it, no. I don't think. It's very interesting. Four dollars, smart Japan. I better just not. I like that cat up there with the green on it. That one's twelve dollars. It's Shawnee. Okay. I'm gonna get the chalk. What about these cute little things? The luster pieces. So we got lusterware ashtrays. You get all three for six dollars. Well, darn it, Barb. Yeah. I guess I better buy all three. <laughs> Cause they've got two horses and a, oh, how cute! And what is this little guy? He's two fifty by himself. He gets to stay behind. We're just gonna do these little guys. 
as I was going up to the front. Look here. Bananas. Those are big banana chalk. Uh, if the price is right, I'm going to get those too. I found Barb this really cool platter. Yes, I'm excited. I it's like it. Restaurant where it's made by Jackson China. Ten dollars. Somebody keeps wanting me to sell airbrush stuff, but I just don't like find oh. very much of it. But I know. Yeah. Jackson China. Pretty cool. If I was a collector of restaurant wear, I would have probably kept it, but I, I don't keep very many things. That's true. Just How many restaurant wear do you have? Like two, less than three? less than five for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's it's probably like I have my two steak and shake mugs. Okay, yeah. And my like a little a toothpick holder. And the leaves one. And then I have one cup and saucer that's like a ivy leaves. Yeah. I think that's all. That's kind of pretty though, with the napkin and the cross stitch on it. Yeah. I'll show you up close what I was looking at. Yeah, a little hanky. You know, something that I like is those really old samplers, but they're so mm -hmm. expensive, you know? Okay. Yeah. There's a booth full of cases. Everything's valuable in here. Is that what it says? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being <laughs> funny. Good. There's a Harold Beale Santa, I believe, possibly. I don't have any of those. Hmm. I don't necessarily plan on it, but... It just says Santa, $25. Oh. What well, would a Harold... it's a fake one. I don't know enough about them. That's just what it reminds Where me. Where would you find out? Well, do you think they... I don't know if they had a mark. I don't know if they had a mark. I don't know if they had a mark. Well, do you think they... I don't know if they had a mark. You would think they did. Let me see the face. I think it is, probably. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know if they have, you know, tags they were marked with. How much is that painting of the flowers at the top middle? That's um, a print and it's $25. Print. Okay. Yeah. I don't typically like flowers, but for those type, are those pansies, I think? I Sometimes uh, I like those I don't know. antique ones. Here's one of these moon, what are they called, moon glow or? Yes, I like those. There it is. And they would like $60 for the original Moon Glow. Look at this little pink handle on that. Ooh, to print, crimp your pies. Hmm. $6. Very pretty. Oh, look, here's some little tin things. Tin. Yeah, there's doodads in here. There's some poodles over there for $6. Oh, and some pineapples back there. Ooh, that would be fun for summer. They have some enamel pins down here. Some egg cups, toothpick holders. Let's see what else they have in the way of salt and peppers back here. Well, they have poodles and they have the pineapples. I sold those pineapples before. They did pretty well. Those are cute. I think they put their prices on, their tags on cards. Siamese cat shakers, $5. Well, my goodness. What's wrong with them for $5? That's a brilliant price. Oh, that's great. I'm going to definitely get those. And you still got your platter. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, I got some restaurant wear from that shelf before, but I don't really need any more of it. It's more the, you know, white and green, more plain. Mm-hmm. This looks like knockoff Roseville or yeah. Weller. What is it, anyway? Oh, that's like, huh. Meh. It's as old planter as is. I don't know. No, I don't know what it is. Look at this. It's like a little planter fired on. And it says Vitrock. Possibly, is it Fire King or is it Anchor Hawking? Well, or that's Hazel a good Atlas. Question. I thought it was Fire King or Fire Anchor King. Hawking. Yeah, probably. And then it comes with the little bowl. I'm not sure if they go together, like if it sets in there. But it's four dollars, so I'm gonna get that. It's pretty cool. Look, another clipboard with something on it. Oh yeah, that's so cool. <laughs> How much are these cats? 
did, I was gonna look a minute ago, but I figured you already did. Oh, eight dollars. Okay. Large Lufton cat, they say. Ooh. Not marked Lufton. Six dollars. All right. And I like this, but mm -hmm. tell me if I'm weird, everyone. I wish it had the correct spoons. Like, I think it's supposed to maybe be like a red, a blue, a yellow, and a green. I would agree with you, though. Yeah. I'd prefer that they were different colors. I've seen them that way, where they're different, all different colors. If it was like, you know, less, but for 10, I'd rather have the red Yeah. Color. 